Thank you, Mr Speaker. Can I start by expressing shock and anger at the death of George Floyd? This has shone a light on racism and hatred experienced by many in the US and beyond. I'm surprised the Prime Minister hasn't said anything about this yet, but I do hope that next time he speaks to President Trump, he will convey to him the UK's abhorrence about his response to the events. Mr Speaker, The Telegraph this morning is reporting that the Prime Minister has decided to take direct control of the government's response to the virus. So an obvious question for the Prime Minister, who has been in direct control up till now? Well, Mr. Mr. Speaker, let me, let me begin by associating myself uh, absolutely with what uh, the right honourable gentleman had to say about the death of George Floyd. And uh, I think what happened uh, in, uh, in the United States was appalling, it was inexcusable. We all saw it uh, on our screens. And I, I perfectly understand uh, people's right to protest. Uh, what took place, though obviously I also believe that protests should take place in a, a lawful and reasonable way. On his uh, more polemical point, uh, let, me, let me just say that uh, this government is, uh, I take full responsibility for everything this government has been doing uh, in tackling coronavirus, and I'm very proud of, uh, of our record. And if you look at what we have achieved uh, so far, it is very considerable. We have, uh, we have protected the NHS. Uh, we, have, we have driven down uh, the death rate. Uh, we, we are now seeing far fewer hospital admissions. And uh, I, believe, I believe that the public understand that with good British common sense, uh, we will continue to defeat this virus and take this country forward. And what I think the country would like to hear from him is uh, more signs of cooperation in that endeavour. Watching events unfold across America in recent days and the actions and rhetoric from the American president have been distressing and deeply worrying. So can I ask the Prime Minister what representations has he made to his ally Donald Trump? And at the very least, Prime Minister, say it now, Black Lives Matter. Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, of course Black Lives Matter, and, and I totally understand uh, the, uh, the, the anger, the grief uh, that is felt uh, not just in America but around the world and, and in our country as well. I totally understand that uh, and, I, and I get that. And I, I also support, as, as I've said, uh, the right to protest. The only point I would make to the House is that protests should be carried out uh, lawfully and, and in this country protests should be carried out in accordance with our rules on social distancing. Easing restrictions involves very difficult judgment calls. So this is the week of all weeks where public trust and confidence in the government needed to be at its highest. But as the director of the Reuters Institute, which commissioned a YouGov poll this weekend, said, I have never in 10 years of research seen a drop in trust like we've seen for the UK government. How worried is the Prime Minister about this loss of trust. Prime Minister. I, I'm surprised he should take that t- tone, Mr Speaker, since I, I, took the, I, took the trouble, uh, I took the trouble to ring him up, and uh, we had a long conversation in which I briefed uh, the right honourable gentleman about all the steps uh, that we were taking. He didn't offer any, uh, any dissent uh, at that stage, I may say, Mr Speaker. He thoroughly endorsed uh, our approach, and I, I believe that he should continue uh, to endorse it today. I think, I think that uh, he's on, on better ground and firmer ground uh, when he stands with the overall overwhelming majority of the British people who, who understand the very, very difficult circumstances that we are in uh, and who want clarity from across the political spectrum, uh, but who believe that we can move forward, provided we continue to observe the basic rules on social distancing, on washing our hands and on making sure that when we have symptoms, when we have symptoms, we take a test and we isolate. And I think everybody understands that. That's why the, uh, the, disease, the instance of this disease is coming down. And I think his attempts uh, to distract the public from that have not been successful because they continue to pay attention to our guidance.